So what would you say now, nearly five years on, mm -hmm. has been the biggest moment, like, with God and what he's shown you through that and your family and because it's just so redemptive. It's just, I mean, meeting him today, I'm just like, you are the sweetest little human. Like, and we'll get him out in a minute, but just to see the first thing that he says to you and his joy and his zeal, it's like it speaks for itself. Like his miracle and his yeah. life. And yeah. it's, it's amazing, but what would you, for you as a mother and a wife and what would you say has been the biggest like moment for you through this or learning if you will the willingness of God the willingness of God to do what we ask of him um, I think I'm I'm just wrecked from the goodness of God and that we get to be his children that can come and ask of him. Um, it's changed my life in the way of, I look at everything around me and anyone who's asleep, I wanna wake them up. Anything that feels dead, I just want to pray that God would breathe life. Anything that's dry, he can saturate. And I feel like that in, in my internal life has just come full out, you know? Just, um, I'm, I'm wholeheartedly living for Christ. Uh, I think when you walk in unbelief and half-heartedness, it only harms it only harms you. I think there's a lot of people who are tired of a God that feels like a businessman in a mega church and, and they wanna know Jesus with them. Jesus, while they're just doing normal life, like how do I actually, do, can you actually follow Jesus and is your life really transformed? I was like that when I was 18, when I experienced my healing. I was questioning, is this real? Like, can God really do that? And a lot of people have asked, was Leah really dead? So that, that mentality is like, I'm just aware that if you're tired, if you're burned out on religion, if you're tired of playing church on a Sunday, but you have no joy and no peace, and you have to kind of drink yourself to sleep every night, I would say give up your life and follow Jesus. Don't half-heartedly follow him because the joy is in the wholehearted living for Jesus and to lay down your life. And I think we're afraid to trust and we're afraid to whatever it is. But once we do, a lot of people want miracles. But a lot of people don't want to be desperate. A lot of people want miracles, but they're like, <sighs> and I ask myself and I ask people around me, <laughs> take your desperation to Jesus. Like that is where he comes. That is, that is his domain is, is there. And um, I think that's what's radically changed in my life, in our marriage, in our family. It is, there's no half-heartedness. There is wholehearted um, living. And I am, I can, I can see the joy of, of how God is healed and restored and raised Leo to life. I can see the joy, not just the devastation and the trauma, you know? It's like there's there's joy that you cannot get unless you you go to the other side, you know? Like, unless you fall fully into Christ. 